This is Peter Berry. He's a researcher at Oxford University in the UK, and he's actually the lead principal investigator of this trek, and he is a former Vol, so he was at UT from... 2013 to 2014. 2013. So yeah. For so, two years. So it's okay, he can talk to you guys too, because he's and a volunteer. And I got my so, orange yeah, on as well. Yeah, he's got his orange on. Um, so he's going to tell us about what varies over the, the river. Yeah, so I heard Karen giving uh, the, the talk to you guys about uh, why we see certain microbial life here and the problems we have with a, a direct source of having a hot spring here and that mixing with the river water to our left. So we're in this, this riverbed. Um, but it's they're actually really uh, intricately tied together within the geology is where we have uh, seismic faults and we have weaknesses, that's where the rivers flow. It's the path of least resistance. So that's typically where we have rivers forming along, along seismic faults. And that's also where we see uh, these conduits for very deep fluids and volatiles from the Earth's interior. So it's the same reason that we see these hot springs here. Uh, it's the same reason that we see rivers in this part of the world. Um, yeah. So it's, it's, all, it's all connected it's all together. Um, if, is it also, and I guess the other thing that's nice about that is that it helps us identify where the seeps are because we can see bubbles coming through water. Exactly. Do you, do you think there are a lot of seeps that do not have rivers associated with them that we just can't find because they don't have bubbles? Yeah, I think I think the amount of uh, seeps that we actually know about are probably it's probably just the tip of the iceberg. And like you said, um, if we look here, we see vigorous. I don't know if you can see it. Vigorous bubbles coming up right out of the water in the stream, and you could imagine if the stream wasn't here, the river wasn't here, there's no way we'd be able to identify where those bubbles are. Um, so uh, it, it's, a, it's a part of every, every hot, hot spring we see and we know about, they're almost always associated uh, with these rivers. Which is good because it's a, it's a wonderful place to do, to do field work and it's a it's beautiful, beautiful location in the, in the, here in the, in the rainforest of Costa Rica. So 